1,090 points in two FLL unearthed runs. My name is Zach and I am a mechanical engineering student at St. Cloud State University with over four years of first Lego League experience. Today we will be analyzing two max point runs by NG Engineers and Team TurtleBots FLL. As always, if this is your first time visiting, please consider subscribing. And let's jump in! First things first, I want to share a few pieces of advice that I've learned as a college student and also throughout my years with First Lego League. Number one, work hard in school. Number two, learn how to ask questions and be curious, especially at school. And number three, serve. Serve your family, serve your friends, and serve at your church. This first run is by NG Engineers, and I love how they use simple attachments and the efficiency in solving more than one mission at once. This eliminates the drive time, which is where most of your runs can be thrown off. I love the smooth turning here, as slow is smooth and smooth is fast. And this is one of the key things that we learn over the years programming robots. One of my thoughts watching this run is the attachment swap time, because this is factored into your robot game time. Something that I found really helpful is using these attachment points called dog gears. And using gearing, you can turn the rotational motion from the motors into any direction that you'd like. But the best part is that it's very simple and streamlined and efficient to swap attachments in and out. Using a block in their launch here is a great idea. You can also just build a square robot and use the wall. One in doubt, build your robot in rectangles with a low center of mass. This is definitely the way to go, especially for accuracy during longer runs. The second run we're gonna look at is by Team TurtleBots FLL. First of all, I absolutely love your team's excitement and enthusiasm over seeing your robot succeed. And congratulations on your state championship robot design win last year. That is amazing. Back when I competed in First Lego League, we only had one launch area and for a while we didn't even have the home. So taking advantage of having two launch areas is very important, as this will cut down on your overall drive time. The square and compact design of this robot and how you use the wall to start your run will definitely contribute to your robot success. One tip I'd like to share is using the wall and doing something called a wall square. Wall squaring basically realigns your robot throughout the run, which will improve its accuracy. You can also use two color sensors on the front corners of your robot and run a program called a line square, which does the same thing It realigns your robot throughout the run. Those would be great opportunities to program my blocks as well, which is something that comes up on the robot design and programming side of your judging rubrics. Great use of the wheel there as a counterweight. My team once used that as a hammer during the Into Orbit season, which was a long time ago.
Amazing run guys and best of luck this season. Thank you guys for watching. Please consider subscribing and we'll see you again soon.